Strength is the ability to exert force without a time constraint and is a key component of both health and success in many general sporting skills such as jumping, sprinting and change of direction tasks. Stronger athletes also produce superior performances during sport specific tasks. Increasing muscular strength also allows an individual to decrease their risk of injury. One of the main mechanisms underpinning maximal and explosive strength development is through morphological increases in cross-sectional area of a muscle, through hypertrophy. This is because hypertrophic training provides a foundational level of strength. The aim of this presentation is to provide a summary of the article titled Training for Strength and Hypertrophy, an Evidence-Based Approach. The article was produced by Morton and colleagues, who provide an uncomplicated, evidence-based approach to optimise resistance training changes in muscle mass and strength, which are mediated by the FIT principles, which are frequency, intensity of effort, type and time. This presentation, brought to you by Talking Sports Science, is split into two parts. Part one is going to summarise the five key recommendations to optimise strength, and part two is going to summarise the five key recommendations for hypertrophy. Let's dive straight into the strength recommendations. Recommendation one, specificity. Changes in muscular strength is influenced by training specificity. When muscular strength is evaluated using an unpracticed test, resistance training of any form is effective at increasing strength, and heavier loads are not superior. Therefore, it is recommended that individuals should train for the test or training goal. For example, you should consider if a 1RM or a 5RM or an isometric strength test would be most appropriate. Recommendation 2. Load. Changes in muscular strength are primarily determined by load. Increases in one repetition maximum are optimised when resistance training with near to maximal loads, with heavier being better. Morton and colleagues recommend using loads above 85% of one repetition maximum for strength development. Recommendation 3. Volume. Weekly training volume can be calculated by the repetitions multiplied by the sets performed and can be altered directly by manipulating the following. The number of sets per session, the number of reps per set, for example by training to volitional fatigue or not, the number of training sessions per week, However, weekly training volume is also indirectly altered by manipulating load. And lastly, time under tension. Increased volume beyond a certain point does not necessarily produce further strength gains. On this basis, less than 15 sets per muscle per week is recommended. Moving on to recommendation 4, which is protein. To support strength gains, Morton and colleagues recommend increasing protein intake up to at least 1.6 grams per kilogram of body mass per day. And the fifth recommendation, interset rest. Between two to five minutes rest is recommended between sets for resistance trained individuals. We have now reviewed the five key recommendations to optimise strength. Thanks for listening, folks. Check out part two for the five key recommendations to optimise hypertrophy.